Hey everyone, I'm covered in hair because I just had a play session with Bowser and he is shedding like crazy at the moment. We are up to the next part of The Sims 4 Farmland by Arnie. Let me know if you're enjoying this series, if we wanna do any more parts after this one. I thought we'd just kind of check it out and you guys let me know if you wanna um, look into it more. Um, Cause we also have Cottage Living coming out soon. So I'm just kind of being wary of that. But anyways, um, what happened in the last part? We were actually starting to make money from farming, but as I look at our household funds, that's kind of sad. Uh, we haven't paid off any of our debts. <laughs> we do have bills and our bills are $3,700. Wow, wait, how much does our sprinkler system cost us? 576 millions. I wish I had looked at that before we installed our sprinklers. Anyway, let's have a shower. And I also remember that we needed to go look at the abandoned ship. And I also wanted to see if any of the land grubs knew about that uh, land value or land selling document or something like that. Um, that was a little bit of a tea time in the last part. Let's maybe get Lee out of this outfit. Why don't we dress up a little bit to go into the city? Uh, there we go. Oh, oh well, we'll get into our, our tracksuit. That's fine. Now, how are we going with our roses? Our roses are gonna grow. Good, good, good. Okay, maybe we go to, cause we went to the chateau in the last part to check out the mystery there and we found the mystery letter, but I wanna go back, not to the jazz bar. Wait, it was, she wasn't at the bank, was she? She was at the town hall. Can we, no, we can't ask for anything here. Dang it, I thought we might be able to speak to her. Well, I don't know how we figure out the rest of that quest. Oh, the other option is we could speak to our farmer man. Oh, I came to his house looking for him, but it doesn't look like he's here. That's a shame. I guess we can check back later. I can never seem to find him. Well, the next quest we had was to look at this abandoned ship. Um, so let's examine the shipwreck. And we were told that there's no point having any boats around here because the water isn't deep enough. But maybe there's a mystery on this boat. Oh, we're, we're gonna wade into the water to check this out. Damn, we're, we're going in in our tracksuit. That reminds me of how hard it is to swim in clothing. We used to have to do that at primary school. That was very challenging. There are several papers in this boat. It seems like no one has ever touched it. There is a note and it says, My husband Frank and I are in a terrible situation. We work for the SIA, Sim Nation Intelligence Agency. Ooh, to spy on the land grab family. Jeez, the land grabs. Shady, shady Sims. But they are like an empire of crime and we struggle to fight them. We had to leave our kids with their grandma when they were just toddlers because it was getting too dangerous for them. That's horrible. The land grab empire has no boundaries. They are willing to do anything to protect themselves. We had to leave from a city to another each year ever since we started to work on this case. We are leaving Eden Hills tomorrow, but I want to leave this here, a certificate of ownership for the Chateau Rose. <sighs> it belonged to them and they did terrible things in order to scam people with this castle. They have to get caught before they catch us. Combined with an important diary, this might be proof of the culp, culp Culpability, culpability. Janine and Frank Brooks. <gasps> what? The tea? The tea is so hot. So that's the certificate of ownership. The rarity is common. I feel like this, this should probably be rare. <laughs> so what do we do now? Maybe we should go back. Oh, where is he? I'm just gonna wait here until he, until he comes home. Might be good to get Alice on the fields while we wait. So um, let's go harvest some tomatoes. Let's harvest all of them. Man, that is so much tea time. Hey, Lee, where are you going? Get back here. Just side note, I like how there's like a little florist table here that you can use as well if you, if you wanna sell some flowers. Oh, I thought that was him, but it's just our sister. Okay, maybe I'll just get them both to harvest all of these. Team effort. 
Okay. Oh, of course he decides to come back just as soon as we leave. It makes me think you're avoiding us, Mr. George. Okay. Uh. Oh, tell George about the land grabs, the fire, and the diary. Sorry, that was a little intense. Oh my gosh, Lee. What did you find again? This is amazing. I never thought it would be possible one day to know the mystery that started the fire. It costed us everything we had at the time with Adele. Knowing the land grab families behind all of this does not even surprise me. They are well known for their suspicious activities and all the lives they ruin. I bet even their SIA is looking for them. I mean, I think we just told you that in all fairness. Now, that's very kind of you, Lee, for trying to figure this all out. But you know, I have had the most wonderful life with Adele. This moment was actually for the better. It brought us together more than ever. We connected on another level after all the hard stuffs that, stuff that's happened to us. So today, I am almost grateful this happened for all the good things that came to us next to it. Wow, that is really rising above and beyond the situation. And I wouldn't have the strength to go to the city hall and talk about all this myself after all these years. Thank you for helping George finding out the truth about the fire of his farm. You should confront Anya Landgrab at the city hall with the proof that you have. I knew it. I knew we had to confront her. I knew it. She was just hiding from us. We should put her in a paddock, if you know what I mean. Let's go. This is crazy. I am so here for the tea. Also, how's our harvesting going? Yay. Oh God, we have so much weeding to do. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. Maybe the tractor also helps with weeding. I'm not sure. It's time we confront her. I wonder if we get much money for this. What happens if they give us a hundred thousand simoleons? <gasps> Why do I feel like they're gonna give us like a frog or something? Like a common frog. This is it, Anya. Oh, Lee's really nervous. Okay, calm down. I'd be nervous too. Confront Anya. <sighs> okay, look, Lee. It's not because my last name is Landgrab that I'm responsible for these. I'm tired of getting rejected by everyone just because of my name. I hate them. I hate my family. They have never shown an ounce of love towards me, even between themselves. They are cold, very sad people. I know, but there is no way I can escape them, even by coming here. You could change your name. I am feeling sorry for what happened to your friend, but I am not responsible. Actually, I might be able to do something. Ooh, she can get back at her own family. Would you like me to show you the documents to the mayor? I am sure he can help your friend George. <gasps> Would you like to give a certificate to Anya? You might not have access to it anymore. Do you trust her? That's up to you. I mean, I really don't trust her, but I feel like it's either okay or cancel. <gasps> Whoa, we got 10,000 simoleons. Woo! I showed your documents to the mayor and the Urgency Council decided to provide a monetary com compensation for the hurt done to Mr. George Clover and his wife, Adele Clover Brooks. The documents provided by your own cousin, Frank Brooks, and his wife, Janine, have been verified. The diary and the certificate have been verified as well and are confirmed to be genuine. That all happened very quickly. On to the order of the council, George will perceive an amount of $100,000. And we have received $10,000 or simoleons for solving the Eden Hills fire mystery. Congratulations for your achievement. You might be a new inhabitant of even Eden Hills, but the city owns you a great amount of gratitude. You can be proud of you. Oh my gosh, imagine if we just peed ourselves. So that's cool. That's, um, that's awesome. So we can pay our bills with that money. We can also afford maybe to either, oh no, is this, how is this dead? I've been looking after them all. Oh, is it because we're at the end of summer? I mean, also, what happened to our duck farm? That's so sad. Uh, we got scammed $5,000. We were scammed by our own puppy. I call him puppy because I keep forgetting that his name is George. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we can sell all of these. Let me just see if this works. Oh my lord, $1,600 every time we get our crops, wow. Maybe we should just put a canopy over these crops. But I kind of like how neat it is that they're all tomatoes. Actually, can we take away... Oh, we can delete this soil pot. The problem is tomatoes only grow in summer. 
I think we should we should grow our roses over here and then we can put a big canopy up over it. Okay, well, why don't we just get a few, okay, let's pay our bills first and then let's get some seeds mm, and common plants. No, actually, I'd rather buy some roses as gifts and pay the bigger price for them. Yay! As if we would make a loan payment, please. Okay, let's get, um, I'm scared of the pomegranates that I'll mess that up again. Let's get like seven of these. Oh no! I bought too many. <laughs> no! Uh, no! It's okay, we can sell some of our furniture or something. Um, It'll be fine, you guys. So let's just add some seeds from our inventory. Oh no, she's gotta go home. That's okay, you go home and then Lee will bring back here to plant these. You go home pee pee, Lee comes here for the graveyard shift. Okay, Lee is literally in his pajamas. Um, cute. Now we're gonna water all of these. We can sell these for 120 simoleons. Cool. Gotta water all of these. And then we only need a few more hundred simoleons to be able to put a cover over this. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of weeding and all of that, and then we'll do a little bit of harvesting. I tell you what, the farm life is a hard grind. Oh, our sprinklers are on. I almost forgot they are self-watering. <laughs> I'll also evolve some of these too. I just love the, the mood of doing all of this gardening and the graveyard shift in our PJs. <laughs> May as well be comfortable. Okay, now Lee is really tired. Um, Lee needs to go home. And then we can bring Alice back. Ah! <laughs> no! Oh my gosh, no. I thought your cooking level was fine. Cooking level three. I blame that on her. Oh, put yourself out. Oh no, she's fine. Good Lord. Good grief. Okay, you go to bed. You shower. And we'll, then we'll get back to our farming. Oh, great. And now our fridge is broken. That's just great. This repairman's ripping us off as well. He's saying he's coming to our house and he's, and he's not. I reckon it's the land grabs. The land grabs ruin everything. Okay, it literally took me all day to get Alice in a mood good enough to be able to to, to fix up the crops and also clean up our house, which was just destroyed by the fire and everything breaking. But finally, we can harvest and take care of our plants. But sadly, a lot of them are dying as well because we just don't have the cover for these plants. I think that's why. <laughs> okay, now that she's finished that, can do that. And we're still under the $10,000 mark, which sucks. I mean, what we could do is sell these sprinklers. If we sell those, we can make enough money to fund our next farm. Okay, there we go. All right, well, let's upgrade this. Although last time we tried to do this, it, it doesn't work. It says it requires farming skill level five. And we have farming skill level five. Oh, I think it's broken. No. And our duck field's gone. Everyone's ripping us off. I mean, unless we need to get both sims to level five. All my plants are dying. The farm life's tough. Okay, we just harvested another $1,600 worth of tomatoes. Love that. Okay, I have been working on these crops all day with Lee and Lee is almost at level five. And I just thought I would see if both my sims were at level five. Yay, if that means, oh, it hasn't registered yet. Um, oh, here we go, yes, 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 yes. If we can upgrade this, maybe every member of the household, fingers crossed. No, it doesn't work. <gasps> That's so sad. Well, I guess what we could do instead is buy another piece of land and get animals instead. Or can we just reset? Oh, you can just reset the field. 
Wait, does that mean we have to pay for it again? Or, ah, oh, sweet, so we can just change it. Yes, we didn't have to buy new land. Okay, so create a chicken coop farming level eight. Oh, we're so close to level eight farming. What else can we get? We can get cows, pigs, sheep. Well, maybe we could get some sheep okay, and see the wool. Yay, these sheep are fed from the grass so you don't have to feed them, but they do like treats. No, I don't think it's working. Can we, but the problem is now the signs disappeared so we can't reset the field. Why don't we cheat a little bit and give ourselves another 5,000 simoleons? Okay, and if we buy this piece of land, I just wanna see if maybe we can do something else over here, cause maybe it's like the actual land piece that isn't working. Let's try a fish farm maybe, cause the fields look amazing when they work. To reset it to its original state, click on the new sign and choose reset. <laughs> oh no! I feel like at this point, maybe we should just See if any of these fields work. So let's say we buy this $10,000 piece of land. Farming animals. Why don't we try a pig field this time? Oh, so, so there's a few things that aren't working for me. I don't know if it's just me, so I'd be really interested to hear from you guys if you have downloaded the early access and if you are having the same issues, but I really, really hope it's not a, an issue many people are having because it's so hard for someone who doesn't work at The Sims to create this mod without any glitches. So hopefully it can be fixed easily or it's just something that I'm having an issue with. Yeah. Other than that, like I feel like this mod is really, really awesome. Like I could see myself playing this for hours and getting really, really into it. Imagine just having a farm over generations and generations and gradually buying all of this land and then just being super duper rich. That'd be so cool. Was there anything else? We did all of these other quests. Okay guys, well I might finish up um, this right here and I'll see if maybe I can get a fix for the parts of this mod that aren't working for me or maybe I've done something wrong. But in any case, I'll finish it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching and definitely give this mod a go. As I said, it's out for early access at the moment and I definitely encourage you guys to support Arnie over on his Patreon if you're able to do so, because this is a ton of work. And I think even though not everything's working perfectly for me, it's still amazing to look at and I've really, really enjoyed it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon. Dag, dag!